Hello guys, welcome to today's class. In this class, I'm going to explain uh, based on the topic is nothing but partial differentiation. This is partial differentiation actually is a new topic uh, for uh, in the engineering course. We are not studied this based on partial differentiation in the PU level. Now, what is partial differentiation? Why you need to study for partial differentiation? Now, partial differentiation means actually differentiation, they have two types. One is ordinary differentiation, another one is partial differentiation. What I told ordinary differentiation is nothing but you are treated as differentiation. You already studied and also you already used in first module and also half of the second module in 18 mat 1. Now here, where we are going to use differentiation, suppose y is dependent on single independent variable, the function of x or function of t, function of w, whatever may be. Now the condition is any variable is dependent on single independent variable, there we are going to use differentiation. How to find out differentiation? Find out derivative with respect to independent variable. We get first derivative is denoted by what actually dy by dx or y dash or y1 is nothing but f dash of x because it's an unknown function. Again differentiate we get second derivative so on. Now suppose the function is depending upon more than one independent variable. For example here I consider volume of the cylinder is nothing but v is equal to pi r square x. Here I return the figure how is looked like cylinder. The variables, v is the volume of the cylinder is depending upon what are the variables are nothing but r and h. Yeah. Now means v is dependent on, it's a function of what actually r and h is dependent on more than one independent variable. Means r is not dependent on h, h is not dependent on r. Now we treated r and h are independent variables because now, uh, R and H are independent variable. Why? Because now observe carefully here one point. R is not uh, function. R is not uh, depending upon H. H is not depending upon R. Both R and H are independent variables. Therefore, now here totally the volume of the cylinder is depending upon two independent variables. But what you know that under differentiation is failed to find out derivative of V with respect to R, with respect to H, because V is dependent on more than one independent variable. Therefore, here, what we are going to do here, we can't take what you already studied, differentiation. There we are going to use another uh, definition, is nothing but partial differentiation. Therefore, partial differentiation is one of the tools to find out derivative of the function with respect to more than one independent variables. Means, Whenever the given function is depending upon more than one independent variables, there we are going to use partial differentiation. Therefore, partial differentiation is a one of the tools to find out the derivative of the function. Is suppose the function is depending upon more than one independent variables. That's why this is an example I taken in my slide. V is function of R and D. Means it's a function of more than one independent variable variable in more than one independent variables. Therefore, we can't find out ordinary. There we are going to use what? Partial differentiation. The another way is whenever it's failed to apply to ordinary differentiation, there we are going to use partial differentiation. Or whenever the function is depending upon more than one independent variables, there we are going to use partial differentiation. I think you get idea where we are going to use partial differentiation. Whenever talking about ordinary differentiation is denoted by D, like that, whenever we are going to use partial differentiation, the standard notation of the uh, uh, partial differentiation is nothing but do. Do denotes partial derivative, D denotes ordinary differentiation. But whenever we are going to using a partial, ordinary differentiation, always you treat it as differentiation. But you can't use partial differentiation also differentiation because you can't bifurcate. Uh, which one we are going to use, ordinary or partial. Therefore, now this is a way where we are going to use partial differentiation. What's the use of the partial differentiation? The application of the partial differentiation based on now module 2 is nothing but maximum minimum for function of two variables 
Lagrangians and determine multiplayers and also Jacobians. And also Jacobians. So how many applications are there? Now I'm explaining uh, what are the application we are going to study after the definition of partial differentiation. The Jacobians, maximum minima per function of two variables and also Lagrangians and determine multiplayers. These are the application we are going to study further in the same chapter. Before, before moving to the next step, again I am going to explain, give a one or two tips. Whenever the function is depending upon more than one independent variables, in such cases we are going to use the definition of partial derivative. The partial derivative is nothing but derivative of the function is involving more than one independent variables and also I have to take with respect to at that time we have to differentiate with respect to one of the variable. Means for example, suppose uh, uh, u is a function of sine of xy minus plus x square is dependent on more than one independent variable. If we want to find out partial derivative, now we have to differentiate this with respect to x, treated or temporarily are treated the remaining independent variables are constants or temporarily the remaining independent variables are constant. That gives a give rise the derivative of the partial derivative of the given function. We can't differentiate fully of the given function just like ordinary. We have to differentiate uh, with respect to one of the variable, independent variable, time being we treated the remaining independent variables are constant. That give rise is not give rise fully derivative of the given function, it is give rise partial derivative of the given function. Therefore, such type of differentiation is nothing but partial differentiation because we are applying this concept. We are finding time being with respect to one of the independent variable. We, we are treating the remaining independent variables are constant. Therefore, they give rise the partial uh, uh, derivative of the given function. Therefore, such uh, corresponding derivative is nothing but partial differentiation. Now, just like in ordinary, what you know that how to find out first order, how to find out second order. Similar way, we are going to find out in the partial derivative also. I am going to explain on the board first, after that I am showing my slide, okay. How to find out first order partial derivative, okay, fine. Now, suppose u is function of x and y. I want to find out what actually first order partial derivative, first order partial derivatives, yeah. How to find out? u is function of x and y. What are the u is dependent on what actually x and y. More than these two are what actually independent variables. Okay. Is involving more than one. You can't apply ordinary. I go for partial derivative. Partial derivative of u is denoted by two just few minutes before I told with respect to one of the independent variable. But one of the independent variable is x. Now, this is my with respect to x. Now, Suppose I am going to, with respect to x, which one is constant, the remaining independent variables are constant. And also I have to find out partial derivative of u with respect to y. Suppose u is function of how many? Two oh, independent variables. Suppose u is function of three independent variables, say x, y, z. What are the partial derivative now? Dou u by dou x. What you know that for ordinary, what is ordinary? Y is function of x. How to find out first derivative? dy by dx is nothing but f dash of x. Here we get only one because it's depending upon only one single independent variable. Here we are depending upon more than one. We have to find out with respect to x, with respect to y, with respect to z. Now what's the order of this is one like that. What's the order of these two is one because these two are nothing but say first order partial derivatives. These three are nothing but first order partial derivative. Because what's the order? Just what you know that in ordinary, uh, order in ordinary, similarly we are going to take same concept for finding the order of the first order partial derivatives. Now what is the order for the partial derivative here? One, these are the nothing but uh, first order partial derivatives. So here we get three, here we get two. Now for example, I'm going to take one simple example. U is equal to cos of x y. My, minus x square or plus x square. u is function of x and y. You can't go for ordinary. I have to differentiate partially u 
with respect to x time being x only vary the remaining gas are constant this is a new concept the rest of things just like ordinary we are finding with respect to x but cos is involving x therefore what is derivative of cos minus sin of x right into what is derivative of x by with respect to x is y into y minus what is derivative of x by is 2x like that partial derivative of u with respect to y it a temporary which one is constant x is constant but cos is involving y also uh, therefore what is derivative of cos minus sin of sin of 2 sorry xy into derivative of xy with respect to y is what actually x into y the same way i to find out partial derivative of any one function with respect to one of the independent variable the keep the remaining uh, independent variables are time being constant that's a new concept the rest of thing is we are applying the same concept of what we already studied in ordinary this see we uh, partially find out the derivative they are not differentiate fully therefore these two derivatives are nothing but partial derivatives what's the order of this one because you know that how to take order now in ordinary you know that dy by dx can also be denoted by what y dash also y1 but you can't use like that y u dash because you are having more than one first order partial derivatives so we are going to take another way of notation for this u sub x u sub x y which variable have in sub x that is only that variable is vary finding a derivative the rest of the variables are temporarily constant similarly another way of notation for this is u x this is u y this is u z This way, I have to find out first-order partial derivatives with respect to independent variables. See, observe. Suppose u is dependent on two independent variables. How many first orders are expected? How many numbers? Two. Suppose this function of three independent variables. How many first-order partial derivatives are expected? Three. This shows that number of first-order partial derivatives must be equal to number of independent variables or independent variables are involved in the given function suppose the given function having three how many number of first orders are expected three suppose the given function involving two how many first order uh, how many number of first orders are expected here two this is a concept you have to know that okay now before um, showing that my slides what i am going to explain same thing is there in my slide in the next step uh, uh, see in the ordinary suppose uh, y is function of x the first derivative of uh, this is what actually dy by dx how to express the first derivative in terms of the limit so of course i have to take change in x is x to x plus x or x to x plus delta x choice of you instead of x h you have to take delta x Or you take delta x, or this delta x, or small delta x also. In this case, limit as x tends to zero of you already know that f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h. Suppose you are taken h is nothing but delta x, you replace it delta x or small delta x. Try something. Small change in x to x plus h. This is a way at x plus. the derivative of the given function in terms of the limit in ordinary similar way how to express the derivative of the partial derivative of the function in the limit form suppose u is function of x and y what are the first order partial derivatives here do u by do x and do u by do y how to express it do u by do x with respect to x which one only vary x is vary what is the remaining us are constant Therefore, what's the remaining here? Y is constant. Therefore, now I'm, uh, we are going to use uh, u is function of x and y. Okay, and to find out partial derivative with respect to x, only which one is very x to x plus h, which one is remaining y as as itself. There is no change in y because with respect to x, which one is constant based on two variables, y is constant. There is no change in y. Therefore. How to express in the form of limit? Limit as x tends to zero of f of x plus h only vary in x. Y is must be remain constant minus f of x comma y 
4 divided by h. It's a way at h plus partial derivative in terms of the limit. Similarly, do u by do y. With respect to y, which one is very x comma y, which one is very only y is very. I'm going to take only, there is no change in x. It must be a constant y plus k. This is nothing but limit as k tends to 0 of f of what actually x comma y plus k minus f of x comma y whole divided by k. This is a way that x plus uh, the partial derivative in terms of the limit form. So, of course, it's a function of x, y, z. Now, only do u by do x, right? To write we are varying x, there is no change in y and z. That y and z must be remaining constant. Here we get extra another coordinate. That's all. This again at x plus partial derivative in terms of the limits. We are using same concept of ordinary, but time being, we are differentiate. We are not going to differentiate fully of the given function. We are differentiating with respect to one of the independent variable. Time being treated, the remaining independent variables are constant. That means we are differentiate partially of the given function. This type of differentiation is nothing but partial differentiation. What I explain on the board, same thing I written in my uh, what about in the slide of the paper. For this, yeah, first order partial. Suppose u is function of x and y. What are the first order partial derivatives? Do u by do a, do u by do y. Or if you want to write u is function of f of x y, therefore instead of u is possible to replace it by do f by do x, do f by do x also. There is no uh, change. What's another way of notation is u sub x x or f x or f x also. Okay, fine. Do u by do y or do f by do y or do u by uh, u y or f y. Similarly, suppose this is a function of three independent variables. Now, what we get at u a, u y, u z. Okay. Therefore, number of first order partial derivatives must be equal to number of independent variables involved in the given function. Now, how to express in the form of limit form also, just we missed before I explained. The while explanation, I take an h here, delta u, twice of u. In change in uh, x or y, I take it uh, delta y or delta x, both are must be same. But while taking limit here, must and should I to write not delta tends to 0, delta x tends to 0 here, here delta y tends to 0. Okay, fine. Now move to the second order partial derivatives. Yeah, now move to second order partial derivatives. Yes, okay, fine. Before I'm going to showing my slide for the second order partial derivative, first I'm going to explain on the board. Now, before I'm going to take uh, what about uh, second order partial derivatives, first I'm going to call your ordinary differentiation. Suppose y is function of x. How to find out second order derivatives? First, I have to differentiate with respect to independent variable. We get first derivative dy by dx. It's nothing but what f dash of x. Again, differentiate with respect to x, what we get actually d square y by d square. d square y by d square is nothing but what actually f double dash of x. Now, is it uh, clear this point? Yeah. You can't find out directly second derivative. First, you find out first derivative. You again, differentiate the first derivative. We get second derivative. Like that, here also, first you have to oh, take uh, the given function. Suppose u is function of x and y. What are u is function of what actually? x and y. x and y. Okay, what are the independent variables? x and y. First you find out first order partial derivatives means differentiate partially with respect to x and y. What we get actually? Do, do u by do, uh, do x and also do u by do y. Once we get first order partial derivatives, we have to differentiate again these first order partial derivatives with respect to x, with respect to y. Okay, that is nothing but what actually first you take with respect to x, what we get do by do x of do u by do x is nothing but do square u by do x square. And also I have to take 
do u by do y with respect to x is nothing but do square u by do x into do y. And also, this is over for with respect to x. See, in ordinary have only one, we get only one uh, second derivative. But in partial have more than one, definitely are expecting with respect to x more than one. With respect, again, after once you complete, with respect to x, move to with respect to y. Now, partial derivative of do u by do y, do u by do x with respect to y. Okay. Now, what do you get? Do square u by do y into do x. And also, I have to take partial derivative of do u by do y. Now, what we get actually? Do square u by do y square do x. Now, observe carefully here. Uh, these two are nothing but derivatives with respect to both x and y, mixing variables. While finding a derivative with respect to mixing variable, please take a care for this first you differentiate partially with respect to y and then you differentiate partially with respect to x. Means, once you find, if you want to find out dou square u by dou x into dou y, you take a variable from right to left. Once you face the uh, board side, you take a variable from right to left means first with respect to y and next you have to take with respect to x. Now, don't confuse with that. Now, and also do square u by do y into do x means first you have to take a variable from right to left means first x and then y. Whenever finding a derivative with respect to mixing variable, please take care for that. Now, here all four are what's the order is nothing but just take what's the order of the uh, d square y by dx square in ordinary two like that. These are nothing but second order partial derivatives. We are using same concept what you know that in ordinary, but you have to differentiate partially with respect to one variable at a time and then once you complete move to the next uh, independent variable and so on. Now basically they are having how many independent variables too that implies how many second order, four second order partial derivatives. Suppose u is function of three independent variables. What are the first order derivatives? Do u by do x, do u by do y, and do u by do y. Okay, fine. If you want to find out second order, I have to differentiate partially all three with respect to x, all three with respect to y, and also all three with respect to z. In each case, we get 3, 3 plus 3 plus 3. Totally, we get 9. 4 can be written as here, 2 square, 9 can be written as 3 square. From these two examples, we have clear, clearly consider total number of total number of second order partial derivatives must be equal to square of the number of independent variables are involved in the given function. Suppose the given function is involving two independent variables, square of that we get how many second order four. Suppose the given function is involving three independent variables, how many? Uh, second order partial derivatives are expecting d square is 9. We, we get an example, we see, with respect to x3, with respect to y3, with respect to z3, totally we get totally 9. Now, this is a way I to find out second order partial derivatives. Now, observe carefully, you know that in do u by do x and do u by do y, what's another way of notation for this? ux and uh, uy. Like that, it's also denoted by uxx, this is denoted by uxy, this is also denoted by uy, uyx, this is also denoted by uy. This is another way of notation. I told already in the first order which variable has suffix that's a variable. Means I have to differentiate twice partially with respect to x. Three dead remaining independent variables are temporarily constant. Then we get second order. This is a way I to find out second order partial derivatives. I think it's clear for this. Now the same thing I'm uh, written in where in the uh, my uh, slide. Second order partial derivative means how to find out how to differentiate partially for the first order partial derivatives with respect to each of the independent variable. Suppose u is function of x and y. How many second order partial derivatives we get? Four second order partial derivatives. I told already. What's another way of notation is uxi, this is uxy, this is nothing but uyx, this is nothing but uyy, uyy, okay. Total number of second order partial derivatives must be equal to square of the number of independent variables 
involved in the human function. Okay. Yeah. I take a uh, simple example here, even though it's not their problem uh, uh, based on first and second order, why insist to study for uh, first and second order definition means without knowing the uh, first order and second order differentiation, partial differentiation, or you don't, you don't know the partial differentiation, you are not uh, uh, possible to study for application. You must be know that how to find out first order partial derivative and second order partial derivatives. Then easy to find out what uh, uh, easy to understand you know, what you have the portion implicit function, composite function, and total derivative definition, maximum minima for function of two variables, regular interest and determine multipliers, and also to go with. Because just like without knowing differentiation the concept, how to proceed? Like, okay. Now, do square u by do x into do y, at least, uh, uh, and also do square u by do y into do x are nothing but these two are called mixed, are called mixed second order partial derivatives. These two, what's the order? Second order, mixed second order partial derivatives. These two are equal. Keep in mind, do square u x y must be equal to u y x. Only the case is a function of how many two independent variables. If one do only, if f of x, y, and also these derivatives are continuous throughout the region. We can only say that the mixed variables are equal. Equal, then the given function and also second order partial derivatives are continuous. Okay. Here I have taken one simple example, sin x into y square. If you want to find out second order, first you find out first order with respect to x, with respect to y. What's the partial derivative of this with respect to x? y square is constant. What is partial derivative of sine is cos of x into derivative of x is 1. Uh, what is derivative of this? We get cos x into y square. Okay, fine. And then observe carefully now with respect to y. With respect to y, uh, observe carefully 2 into what is the C? Sine x is a constant with respect to y. Okay, fine. 2y we get. Therefore, I return 2 into sine x into y. Now, once these two are nothing but which order? First order. First order partial derivatives. Okay. Again, I have to find out second order means what we are going to do. This I have to differentiate with partially with respect to x and y. With respect to x means minus sin x into y square. With respect to y means cos x into 2y. Again, I take this function. Take with respect to differentiate partial with respect to x and with respect to y. What we get actually? Uh, with respect to x, 2y into de derivative of sin x is cos x. And then observe, then with respect to y, what we get actually? 2 uh, so sin x into what is derivative of y with respect to y is 1. Now observe here, this, this is nothing but u x, u y, y, u x y. What is u x y is nothing but 2 uh, y into cos x. What is u? Please try to understand. Now we have to take what actually. This is with respect to x and uh, y. No, this is nothing but u y x. First one is u y x. Okay. Yeah. Don't confuse this. Yeah. yeah just a minute. Observe carefully. With respect to x, with respect to y. Which one is first? X first. Which one is first? X is first. Okay, fine. Okay. U, Y, X. Please observe carefully. X and Y. Then this is nothing but this. Next, with respect to Y first and then with respect to X. What is that value also must be equal to 2Y cos X. These two are equal. It's an example of computation of second order partial derivative. Is it okay or not? I think it's clear how we get a mixed variable value. Uh, how is possible to find out mixed variable? Similarly, suppose u is function of three independent variables, say u, x, y, z. How to find out u, x, y, z? First, you differentiate partially with respect to x, next with respect to y, next with respect to z. Keep in mind whenever the given function it's a function of two independent variables, then mixed variable, either u x y is same as u y x. But it's a third order derivative, u x y z is not equal to what actually u z 
y u z y to n it's not equal it's not for uh, equal in higher order only is equal in second order which variable some few cases may be may not be equal but majority cases in mixed variable the condition all are continuous throughout the region then these two are equal but this is not applicable for higher order functional derivative this is why i have to find out uh, what about uh, first order and second order partial derivatives what you need to study for partial differentiation what are the applications we are going to study in further classes or the videos class thank you very much for listening my uh, today class i think uh, at the end of the class it is clear what's the definition of partial differentiation how to find a first order second order partial differentiation is a one of the tool to find out the derivative of the function suppose is involving more than one independent variables thank you very much bye see you and take care